King Charles, um, pop like a, a year old, um, no, no, the, the, the maintenance man came earlier, he, he left the door open, she, she must have ran, um, okay, thank you. not afraid of the door, Jamie. You're afraid of what might happen when you open it and step out to the other side. The safe zone that you've created for yourself is keeping you away from a trigger. It's keeping you trapped inside this mental prison. So what do I do? I mean, I how, how am I supposed to exist if, it, if I can't even... Uh, I feel broken. Like, like something is wrong with me. 
Have you ever considered getting a dog? A dog? Yeah, get a dog. Something that will force you out that door every day. Something that depends on you, that looks up to you. Something that loves you unconditionally. Something you could trust. The connection you make with a dog can overpower any anxiety producing anchors you've built for yourself. It's the fastest and healthiest way to heal. Trust me. There's nothing physically wrong with you, Jamie. What you're suffering from is a condition known as agoraphobia. I've reached the office of Dr. David Ackerman. I'm away from my desk. I'm going to with a patient. The feeling is still there. You know, like it, the sensation is, but um, it's a little less paralyzing. And like, I have to take her out. I, I have to, so that helps. Well, you look happy. Um, well, you know, it, I owe it all to you, so, so thank you. Nonsense. I'm just here to listen. You, gotta, you owe it to yourself. Give yourself more credit, okay? There it is. <laughs> I'm... 
Look, I'm sorry. Oh, please, just stay. <laughs> just, just. No. All right, come on, stay, please. Jamie, stay. Jamie. Gotta go, gotta go. Okay, come on. Jamie. Come on. Jamie! 